hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for being here tonight i am just kind of messing around um i want to see if i can create well let me start that over i'm using a few different color shift pigments and I'm just going to use those with one other color and see how well the color shift shows up and if we can just get a really cool design minimal because I am working on I have an event coming up, so I've been making all kinds of coasters and these six inch by six inch tiles. I've been doing a lot of these and putting them in the cradle wood board frames, um, of course, resiny and everything and um, jewelry and I've got small paintings and prints and tumblers and all kinds of goodies. <laughs> so... Uh, Anyway, right now, if this turns out, I'll just uh, keep it because I'm reusing this tile and I'm not sure if I really want to use that to sell to someone. So, let's see. This is still some leftover pillow paint that I'm just about finally used up. Oh my God, these dogs, every single time. I'm sure you guys can hear them up there. Every single time I turn this video camera on, they start. No barking the whole time I was up there. But as soon as I come down here. Oh my gosh, they must see a cat or something out there or a rabbit. Oh my gosh. If that's actually too loud when I watch this back, then uh, I guess I'm going to do a voiceover. <laughs> and this is um, a faux black pillow. Because I want the color shift colors to show up. I'm going to pause you for a sec, guys. Hold on. Good morning, everyone, oh and gosh, welcome guys. to Heather Renee's Acrylic Pouring. Had this is Heather, and, and I'm really glad you came to join us today. Always um, following me, I believe, studio. is Justin, they, I and mean, then I believe is Sheldon. They act like they've lost, lost their best. So um, today I'm working with oh, minimal boy, colors. Um, because I Spend want to of my time <clears throat> incorporate my this pres prestigious, which is a TLP um, ultra shift pigment, into a bloom. Really um, right but I want to see more <laughs> of it. So that's uh, my goal. Anyway, and um, was, um, I use the pretentious, and I TLP use um, a little bit of um, enchantment. It's a really beautiful color. It should be and happening right this second. Actually, with two colors, a little bit of uh, enchantment. Bust her little butt. Knock it off. I'm trying a whole bunch of new things. Well, Literally some things I've been yeah, doing are things that I know I'm good at and just do and then because I am preparing for of, um, um, an event coming up in June. So, um, and that's TLP Deja Vu. And let's see if we can come up with something. So I'm trying to get as many uh, variety pieces um, that are good sellers um, um, done. So I've been super busy with that I stuff. White and, pink spray cell and I like to make these, whether for an event or just, just you know, points. for someone else to buy, you know, for sales. Um, people like these small tiles. Um, and then I put them inside of a cradle wood board. 
and oh paint the board, you know, God. whichever color. And I went with killer. white cell activator because I was hoping oh, I that with this I'm one, my, uh, I know before it has worked with other color shifting Cordless. pigments. Really but cool for this one, I'm not use. sure. I haven't tried it yet. But as long as I had my dark base, I could use a white cell activator. That way it'll kind of keep the colors bright. And not just kind of fog into like the black part of the paint, if that makes sense. Not like in that big chunk like of the white not, cell activator. Kind of tell like and I think I Listen. am able to fix it a little bit. And right now you're not seeing too much of the uh, pretentious color shift. Yeah, more like a nice one so I stretch it out. And I don't know if I, I wasn't really too thrilled that we got some gray. I don't know if um, I blew too hard and got down into the pillow paint. Or if that's a, a little bit of the Corners. gray and white. Or, I'm sorry, black and white mixing. But oh it gosh, looks like stopped. I um, got God, too far stopped. into the pillow paint to me on that one that's, that's, but I do a fix on it, that I mean, it never fails every single time here I'm just getting my edges so I can have a nice smooth flow while I'm spinning this thing and seeing where it's going to lead me you can start to see the spin. color shifting coming through think it was gonna spin that board. This is a paint shirt anyway, so not that it really matters, but actually that line right there on the right corner right by the black, that is the color shift. Now my glare is got there, that line right there. It's a purple line. And there is a, that like turquoise okay, line. Little. That's one of the color shift colors. All through in here around that white part of the cell is all color shift colors too. Cells are already a little bit kind of I'm not happy either about uh, the way my cells kind of tilting it, just like stopped in that one area. They didn't come up, you know, into the petals I actually really a bit like more <clears throat> like they normally do. Cells. But I'm going to continue working on it and see if I can make a nice composition out of it and I do plan on embellishing this when it's completely dry just um, with some lines um, some white to help with the lacing and cells I think that would look nice doing it that way. I'll see how it looks when it dries yeah, to really make that right. determination. Yeah. But if I if I'm not very happy with the way it dries, then that's but, what I'm gonna do. Give it a little more interest. I'm gonna leave it dry. I'm gonna see what it looks like dry. I might actually Yeah, and here's where I needed some color. I didn't like that spot right there because it was the only 
corner that didn't have any color and that was the area that I blew into the uh, house paint too far. I like that better. Yeah, that's better, I think. I thought I put one more. <laughs> I just kind of wanted that whole side over there covered you know the best that I could get it to you know match the other corners yeah I remember saying much, much we'll better. Like I did. We're gonna see and watching it, it back again, I do like that much better. I'm glad I did that. I can't see my color shift very well. Usually, Usually I can, I can get I these go. six-inch tiles done pretty quickly. Um, for some reason, this one took me in a little bit longer. I know you guys but, won't be able to see it in this light, but... <clears throat> That's how it goes sometimes. I could get a 12 by 24 done in a couple of minutes sometimes, and you know, and then other times my video ends up being an hour long. <laughs> so it just all depends. And here I'm trying to get those white dots that are poking out. I can't stand those things. And again, once it dries, if I need to touch those up, some more um that's what i'm gonna do you should not torch house paint you i should have just done that instead of wasting my time doing it this hole, way create a skin on top of the paint and it won't flow but <sighs> i'm sorry guys i, I am tired this morning sure We've been Still, so busy. Well, I've been busy with him. the event I have coming up. Um, this? I'm really excited about it. It's coming up in June. And I'm doing it through uh, Barb's Animal Shelter and Rescue. Okay. And uh, got all kinds of pretty jewelry made and tumblers and all kinds of good stuff. And little six-inchers and four-inchers and coasters. So... That's kept me extremely busy. And um, I'm just fixing my edges here. And then you'll be seeing the dry, I mean the wet result. And then um, after that, Mr. Justin will be showing us something really cool, I'm sure. So he's going to be up next after me. And I also want to thank you guys for coming and checking my video out and i have really hope you like this one not what i wanted but you can see all that color shift in there the purples the turquoises all that is color shift so i hope you guys like it and again thanks for coming i appreciate it more than you know and let's see justin We'll see how it dries. See what Justin has in store for us. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. And I will see you on the next one. Oh, that's Bye, pretty. guys. Oh. <laughs> see you guys.